This is Jim Nix from nomadicpursuits.com and this video is about realistic HDR landscapes made easy. I'll walk through a workflow with simple realistic techniques to create a natural looking HDR landscape photo. I'm going to start in the HDR basic panel. Now I've already brought this set of brackets into Aurora 2018 and they've been merged and what you're looking at is the base HDR tone mapped image. I've made no edits to it yet and we're going to start on that now. Now I'm going to start in the HDR basic panel. I'm going to warm it up just a little bit because it was a golden hour uh, late in the afternoon, kind of prior to sunset, and there's a lot of warmth in the, uh, in the photo that uh, I want to bring back. I'm also going to up the contrast, and I'm going to bring that pretty far over here, probably something like that. HDR Enhance is a wonderful tool. It really brings up the details and the textures, but without creating any of that sort of noise or uh, distracting artifacts in the sky. So the sky still looks great, and yet I've been able to bring up some of the uh, uh, detail and texture in the stone and in the distant mountains. Now the only other thing I want to do here is I want to bring up Smart Tone a little bit because we got a little bit dark in the image, and I want to bring that back. Smart Tone is a great filter for that. If you drag it to the right to brighten the image, it really just adds brightness to the areas that are dark without affecting the areas that are already pretty bright. I think the color looks good. I might give it just a little bit bump of vibrance. And then the only other thing I want to do here is go into Dodge and Burn. That's one of the new filters, and it's very simple, and it's really about either lightening or darkening certain parts of your image. So just click on Start Painting and click on Darken in this case. I'm going to drop the strength to about 30 and all I want to do is I want to add a little bit of darkness back to these trees. I don't want them too bright. I think the darker, more contrasty look in these trees looks good. And it helps to keep your attention on some of the uh, more beautiful elements of the scene, including the distant mountains, the sky, and of course that beautiful blue water. Just say done when you're finished and I can show you the before and after. There's the before and there's the after. You can see how much of an impact that has had on the image. The only other thing I would do to this is uh, add a new layer, and I'm going to say add a new adjustment layer, and I just want to add a little bit of denoise, and I want to add that across the sky. I just like to have a little bit smoother skies, so I'm making the denoise selection there. I grab the brush, and with my uh, mouse, I'm in paint mode. I can now just paint that adjustment across the sky. Now I'm not doing a very precise job around the edges of those mountains just because this is for demonstration purposes. But I can click on that to show the mask and you can sort of see where this mask has been applied. I'm going to tidy that up just a little bit. There we go. I think that looks good. And I'd say done. The only other thing I might would do here is now that I'm on this layer and I've applied that uh, denoise to the sky, I've effectively just isolated the sky on this layer. So I actually think I would come in and add a little bit more warmth and a little bit of tint. And this is really just affecting the sky because that's where the mask is. Just to give it a little bit more of that, you know, post-sunset kind of late in the day sort of look. And let me show you what I did there. There's the before and there's the after. It just gave it a little bit of punch of color. And that's really it. I'm finished with the photo. These are some very simple and basic techniques, but they work very well, and that's the beauty of Aurora HDR 2018, is that you have a very natural and realistic starting base HDR image that you can add some minor tweaks to to get to your finished look. And that's it. I hope that it's helpful. Let us know if you have any questions, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.